starting a new series of videos called Working with Balsa Foam. Uh, I wanted to show a video of an entry level of the balsa foam itself and what tools that can be used for carving balsa foam. If you would like to know more information about balsa foam, I will put links in the description. But you can go to AmericanFoamTech.com. If you would like to purchase some, you can go to Amico.com or DickBlick.com. And if you're in the EU, you can go to BrevicoModeling.nl. Uh, just to keep balsa foam very simple, there's basically three sizes. Uh, one's a three by three by half inch size. That's what they call like their uh, class pack. Uh, second size is a six by nine by half inch. And their uh, third size is a nine by 12 by one. Also to keep it uh, very simple, they basically have three different uh, mediums, soft, medium, hard, very rigid, uh, medium, and their softest of the uh, balsa foam. Uh, excellent stuff. I mean, the uh, it's almost endless of what it can be used for. Briefly on the tools, uh, balsa foam can be carved just like traditional carving. You can use uh, a traditional plastic uh, carving tool, a uh, X-Acto knife, metal sculpting tools, files. You can also make your own uh, sculpting tools with the ends of paint brushes, carve you out with whatever you would like, toothpicks, and or even a number two pencil. I uh, want to just briefly show everyone for an entry level. Uh, this is a scrap piece of uh, balsa foam. You can take a pencil if you would like. Say you want to make like a tile. You can make groundwork. You can carve however you would like. Uh, can be cut if you need to. Uh, carve out now one thing I got to mention with uh, metal tools is it will rust out your metal tools and so all you got to do is just wipe it off as long as you keep your tools clean uh, you'll have no issues whatsoever but if you can see how it's carved so you want to do another side and get your basic shape uh, sandpaper everything can be sanded smooth like so uh, traditional plastic tools you can make different for like walls you can chip it out if you're doing like a uh, scenery for like a World War II uh, diorama or vignette. Your uh, files. Just so much endless you can do. Now the uh, different sizes here, uh, excuse me, the different mediums, uh, softest, medium, and hard. Uh, just briefly to go on and I'll do other series of videos to show you the thick one which is the hardest material this can actually be vacuum formed which is a uh, holds its shape during the heat and the pressure and uh, other sculpting uh, uh, things you can come up with for these is just uh, fantastic uh, one thing I wanted to show everyone uh, just briefly you can uh, you can actually glue stuff on it this is a base I did uh, I took just simple white glue glued it on, took some uh, material from uh, uh, basically the gravel and uh, some sawdust, glued that on just to have texture. You can paint it. It does uh, hold paint to a point. But if you really need to seal it, the best thing that I have found is stiffy fabric stiffener. 
this stuff will uh, seal uh, and give it a nice uh, texture where you can actually paint on it. Just a good sealer. Well, that's it for the first entry level, uh, first video of the balsa foam. So stay tuned for the next exciting working with balsa foam episode two.